I often cover the stories of, of teachers diddling their students. And today in this video, we cover the crazy story of a Wisconsin elementary school teacher who did a lot of diddling. But how crazy is this story? In a word, bananas. Hey guys, what's going on? Sean of Thrillify, and I hope you're having a beautiful day today. This story of a Wisconsin elementary school teacher who is slapped with more child sex abuse felony charges is indeed bananas. Look at my banana. I am so appealing. Oh, dad jokes are the best of jokes. A former elementary school teacher accused of assaulting a child has been charged with four new felony counts. Anne Marie Crocker, 33 years old, was previously accused of sexually assaulting a 12-year-old boy. 12. That's, that's not one of those stories where it's like, oh, a young teacher fell in love and she's single and whatever, and the boy is just about 18, but they were just so horny they couldn't wait. This wasn't one of those. This was a grown-ass woman married with her own life, her own slice of the American pie, and she was like, oh, what's that, a prepubescent penis? I think I'll have it. That's weird. 12-year-old, heavens, me. Um, and she um, has since been charged with sending a 14-year-old pupil videos of herself masturbating. She worked at a Riverview Elementary School in uh, Silver Lake, Wisconsin from 2020 as an educational assistant until she was fired over the allegations this month. Now, I don't, I don't exactly know what an educational assistant does in Wisconsin, but I, I, can, I can tell you right now that an educational assistant or an EA uh, here in Ontario, they are worth their weight in gold. And they are super important, often more important than the actual teacher teaching the class. As I've, I've said a handful of times, I am a stay-at-home dad. I do have four young autistic sons. And when, when they go to school, they, they have to have an EA. Somebody to, whether it be change their diaper or keep them regulated or be able to take them out of the classroom for a sensory break or whatever that case may be, they are absolutely vital. They don't go to school if EAs don't exist. Now, here's the thing, though. At least here in Canada, EAs deal specifically with special needs children. If she just happened to bump into a, 12, a, a neurotypical 12-year-old boy or a neurotypical 14-year-old boy, then, I mean, I guess that's, that's pretty shitty or whatever, right? But if these are students that she's, like special needs students that she's working with, there's a special place in hell for this woman. And it's actually something that um, sits relatively high with me in terms of fear. Is, you know, someone, someone in a position of trust and authority, you know, taking advantage of, of my kids, especially, especially my, you know, my special needs kids. So her being an educational assistant is pretty, I don't know, alarming. So Crocker, who is also a mother, because isn't that always the way, is charged with having sexual intercourse with a person who has not attained the age of 13 um, in the winter of uh, 23, 24 according to a criminal complaint filed in the state of Wisconsin. She is also accused of several more sordid offenses, including filming child pornography videos in August and exposing her genitals to a child in September. So when I said, how crazy is this story? This story is bananas. I'm uh, not kidding. I don't put on a banana for just anybody. I hope you guys know that. Only you. So she's like, she's having, she's having intercourse with young, very young boys. And then sending, sending adult content of herself, you know, rubbing the business. Whirling the, the magic bean or whatever, that to other young boys. And then showing her business to, to other young boys. She filmed 
child pornography. This lady is a bad is a bad apple. This is that bad apple. Now some of you might go, but I can fix her. No, you can't. She cannot be fixed. This is a bad apple. Something is desperately wrong with her eyebrows. I don't know what it is. Crocker was arrested in October after the parents of the 12-year-old boy told police they believed she had sexually assaulted her son at a sleepover she hosted for her own child. The criminal complaint says the children played basketball, went for a walk, and played video games through the day before falling asleep at Crocker's home. So it sounds like a good play date. They went to bed around midnight. I mean, that's a little bit late, but I guess if you're if it's a play date, is the weekend or you know summer break, you know, go crazy with your video games and your Mountain Dew. They went to bed around midnight with the alleged victim sleeping on a couch in the basement. So, so far, all very, very fun stuff here. Then, while asleep on the couch, he was woken up by the defendant, who was naked. So the boys, there he is, sleeping. He's just sleeping like this, like a little lamb, just sleeping on the bed. And then she sneaks down. Somehow, somehow she gets this bright idea. You know what? That boy down in the basement, I'm going to take off all my clothes and I'm going to go down the basement and then straddle this young boy. So while asleep on the couch, he was woken up by the defendant who was naked. The defendant had removed his pants and was on top of him. Eventually, his friends heard noises and went downstairs. So he's sleeping. She goes down, there he is, pulls off his pants and all that business, and then gets on top of him. The defendant tried to hide, but his friends saw what happened. The victim went upstairs and told his friends what happened, and then went to bed. The boy was so traumatized that he began dry heaving during football practice, having a flashback according to the criminal complaint. That flashback and the drive heaving and all that stuff was likely an anxiety attack. Crocker also allegedly sent a 14-year-old boy videos of herself masturbating with a vibrator and exchanged more than 200 messages via Snapchat with him. Parents, telling you now, I've done a a plethora of these teacher diddling videos, whether it be the, the men teachers or the lady teachers. It's fucking, it's always Snapchat. Snapchat seems I mean, sure, I'm just a man in a banana. I get it. But I'm, tell- I'm telling you, Snapchat, there's so- something about Snapchat that's inherently messed up. I mean, it is by far and away the, the one app that-, that gets used the most for all this stuff. I mean, WhatsApp has been involved a little bit. Instagram, that- that's probably the second most. Um, one time it was Signal, but like, you know, Text messaging, that's quite common too. But Snapchat, by far and away, is the worst one. The alleged crimes involve a current and former student at the Riverview Elementary School, according to the complaint. Prosecutor said Crocker admitted to receiving a sexual video from a 14-year-old victim and saving it to her cell phone. Crocker was previously charged with first-degree sexual assault of a child under the age of 13, possession of child pornography, sexual exploitation of a child by filming them. She was charged more recently with with exposing her genitals, exposing a child to harmful material, child enticement, and exposing a child to harmful descriptions. She's facing 60 years if convicted on all counts. Now, who knows? The pussy pass exists. Sometimes it gets rejected. Sometimes these these women get they get slap on the wrist and, and, and away they go. I, I doubt she's going to skate. There's an awful lot of very serious things here. Maybe maybe she gets half. But even if she gets half, that's still 30 years. Like she's like she's 33. If she gets half, she's still going to be 60 by the time she gets out. She's currently uh, being held at Kenosha County Jail on a five hundred thousand dollar bond with her first appearance um, set for November 22nd. So that's, that's pretty. I don't think I've, I've covered a s- serious one, or as serious one as this one, in quite a long time. Normally, they're, they're kind of 
I don't know, a little more, a little more simple, a little, they're all very serious. Every time, every time a teacher diddles a child, it's deadly serious. But this was constant teacher. I mean, she's diddling a bunch of kids. So this one, mom of three, married, a Catholic school teacher accused of sexually abusing a teenage boy in her office. So this is a, a different story. A Catholic high school teacher faces 15 years in prison for allegedly having sex with her teenage student in her office. Emily Nutley, ha, um, 42, a married mother of three, was charged with six counts of sexual battery and fired from uh, St. Xavier uh, High School in Cincinnati. Yeah, she wanted that Nutley, all right. Um, Hamilton County Prosecutor Melissa Powers said Nutley met the 17-year-old boy when he was sent to a program for academically struggling students that she ran. So this boy, again, was low-hanging fruit. They began texting after school hours last fall, and she allegedly sent him nude selfies and sexually explicit messages. I mean, I mean she's pretty enough. I, I don't know why she wanted to throw it all away. A husband and three blurred out kids. Powers alleged their relationship escalated to them having sex several times in mid-November. At least once in her office at the all-boys school after hours. Nutley allegedly kept texting the student after he tried to break off the illicit affair. Well, you have this struggling, this struggling student. He seems to have had more sense. Uh, he also probably didn't want a clingy old lady. I mean, is, is 40 old? Of course not. I'm 40. But when you're 17, you know, it kind of is. The school discovered the alleged uh, relationship and conducted an internal investigation that notified Springfield Township Police. Nutley was fired as soon as the criminal investigation began, which led to her being indicted by a Hamilton County grand jury and arrested on Monday. She joined the Jesuit school ahead of the 2021-22 year and was listed as the Multi-Tiered Systems Support coordinator. It's a very fancy name. The disgraced educator has two daughters and a son, the eldest of whom is a junior at a different high school and is only slightly younger than the victim. She previously taught at a different school where, where she posted things like, the kids that need the most love will ask for it in the most unloving ways. Be that person for that student. Well, lady, you didn't have to fuck your kid, did you? You didn't have to bang your student. They weren't, I'm sure they weren't looking for that kind of love. And even if they were, even if he had a nutly that he need to, to bust, you're not supposed to be that person for that student. So she will face uh, court November 8th. So right around the corner. This is absolutely unacceptable and rehensible conduct from an adult towards a minor child. This child was in need of help and guidance, but instead found an adult looking to act out her perverted sexual desires. Powers said Nutley's alleged conduct was nothing short of a child sex abuse and would be fully and thoroughly prosecuted. This child was a victim of an adult predator who should never again have a role that puts her in contact with children. She used this child for her own sexual gratification while taking advantage of the position she held. The, uh, the school said this is believed to be an isolated case, but urged any other students to come forward if, if they were victims of the crime. So that is what we have here. This was the, the mom of, of three, married mom of three, happily married in a perfect life or something like that, um, raping a student in her office multiple times. And uh, the main story is the Wisconsin Elementary School EA is a uh, real bad egg, real bad apple. Um, doing all kinds of things to all kinds of kids. Anyways, do like, subscribe, share. Help me grow this channel, please, at Third Railfy on YouTube, on, on Twitter, and on Rumble. Rumble is where I do all of my live streaming. Uh, it's a freer speech platform where, you know, I can say all the things that I don't get to say on, on, on YouTube. So uh, do consider following me there if, if, you, if you have Rumble. Um, yeah, so that's it for this video.
I'll see you guys in the next one. I got a split. Ah, take care. Bye for now.